If you want to know if I'm a part of the 4B movement, then stick to the end and I will tell you, to be honest, once I give you my opinions, you will get a hint of if I'm a part of it or not. However, I want to tell you there's two out of four of the 4B movement that I'm seriously considering implementing to my life. Now, I know some of you are like, what the hell is the 4B movement? 4B movement is women that are making a conscious decision to have no sex with men, no dating men, no marriage, and no children. Now, when you ask these women, um, these women, if why they are a part of the 4B movement, <clears throat> you will get different answers depending on that woman. Um, however, what I'm seeing is, you know, women wanted to give a big fuck you to the patriarchy, to the male gaze. And you also have women who are literally cutting off their hair and joining the 4B movement all because Trump is in office. I don't know what that's going to do. I mean, what is cutting your hair going to do? I mean, you think Trump is going to step out of office because a bunch of women is cutting their fucking hair. I'm, I'm trying not to be disrespectful, but I'm really trying to make logical sense of it. I mean, if you want to like put it in spiritual terms, like sure, yeah, you cut your hair, you're letting go, all of that energy that you were holding on to. Sure, yeah, you're starting over. It's, you're starting on a new page. Might as well go ahead and, you know, join the 4B movement. Now, please do not take offense to this, but I feel like for some of these women, this is like their lightweight coming out of the closet like i really do think the 4b movement um has a lot of closeted lesbians in their group for whatever reason no matter if it's their religion or their family not accepting them they will never come out as lesbian however they will hide behind the 4b movement please don't burn me at the stake i am not a pick me nor am I a man hater. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I did not take bulletin notes, so I'm really gonna wing it. <clears throat> um, <laughs> I feel so bad because I think I just literally said everything I needed to say. <laughs> I guess I'll go ahead and tell you, um, no, I'm sorry, sis, I'm gonna have to sit this one out. I am not a part of the for the movement as a matter of fact i have to be open and honest with you simple fact because i put out a video titled my celibacy and only fans and in that video i told you that i was celibate for four years now i have to keep it real with you i wouldn't be as real as it gets or as real as it gets however you want to pronounce it i would not be that if I was hiding anything from you, you know what I'm saying? Um, but all that being said, I have to say, um, I am not celibate right now. At this moment, I know some of my babes' hearts just dropped like, oh, I can't believe it. I know, I'm so, I'm not sorry because, I mean, it was my decision. And, you know, to be honest, I really, like, it kind of just happened. Like, don't get me wrong, I didn't like i didn't have sex with a whole stranger you know or anything like that it's just that one night i was laying in bed and i was thinking to myself like damn you know um uh, i think i'm at the end of the road with this celibacy journey <laughs> um don't get me wrong i've been celibate off and on for years um as a matter of fact the four years is like my longest stretch However, I will be honest, I know it's a pattern with myself. It, every two years is when I usually break my celibacy or I end up having an apartment. Like, don't get me wrong. Um, I haven't been penetrated in four years. However, I did have some eaters on my roster um, a couple of years ago. I know, I know, technically, I guess. I wasn't celibate in your definition, but you know, celibacy is how you define it. <clears throat> and you know, for those four years, I was abstaining from dick. <laughs> but that night, um, 
I thought to myself, like, damn, you know, um, it's like I'm ready for some dick. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know who to call. I don't have anyone to call because I, I done literally blocked everybody. I've been to myself, so I didn't have nobody to call. And I literally said to myself, you know what, I'm going to let them come to me. I'm not even going to hit up anybody from my past or anything like that. Or, you know, go on dating apps. I wouldn't know anything about dating apps if it wasn't for my friend introducing to them to me um, when I was 19. I used it, like, off and on. But right now I'm, like, at a place in my life where I just, I don't, I don't feel like there's anyone for me on those dating apps. So I'm just done with them. So I was just thinking to myself, you know, I'll let them come to me. And what do you know, um, the morning after somebody hit me up on my messenger and i was like i asked my pussy like damn did you did you pay for him like what the hell and the rest is history from there um i'm i'm already getting like a whole bunch of questions right now <laughs> i'm not gonna spill on my tea or talk too much but um do i regret it hell no i got exactly what i wanted which was some good ass dicks <laughs> <laughs> I'm more than happy, um, but yeah, <laughs> on to the 4B movement, now that you know that I'm not, no, what are the two that I'm literally, seriously considering implementing into my life? Um, before I go into it, um, for those that don't really know my channel or don't really know me, um, yes, I am a mother, I have one pumpkin, um, however, I have to be brutally honest and say in the fourth grade, I was already kind of a part of the 4B movement before it was, it was even conceptualized, 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 you know what I'm trying to say. Um, simplify because I told someone, I, I told them, I was like, don't look to me to give you any grandchildren, don't look to me to give you a, a son-in-law at that moment in time i just knew i did not want to be a traditional wife and i didn't want any fucking kids now of course god obviously giggled at that because i have a child and i have to say that child is a blessing in my life that child saved sorry about that my alarm went off but anyways my child has saved my life i wouldn't be half the woman that i am today if it wasn't for my child I wouldn't even be here, I promise you. I would either be dead or in prison if it wasn't for my child entering into my life. So don't get it twisted, I do not regret having my child. However, I also have to be brutally honest and say that, sorry about that. I put my pumpkin to sleep, but he heard me talking and he's like, how did I save your life? I'm like, babe, you got school tomorrow. Well, come when you're done with the video come and tell me <laughs> how I saved your life but I, I really mean that um now I gotta talk a little bit quieter um but yeah with all that being said I have to say not every day is a perfect day some days are a little hard and on those hard days I do think to myself like damn this is why I don't want kids. I didn't want kids. I knew the shit is not for the week. And because of that, I'm like on the fence with having any more kids. Um, like don't get me wrong, I have I I honestly have an upcoming appointment to get an IUD put back in me because I don't wanna have to worry about getting pregnant for the next five to ten years, especially with the rate of what is going on with these laws and whatnot. But I don't know. Um, some days I want to sterilize myself. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. However, I still, I be having dreams of having multiple kids. I don't know where these kids are coming from or anything like that. I don't know. Like, don't get me wrong. I kind of just want one child. I am so happy with my one child. I'll tell you what, you won't catch me being a single mother to two kids, two baby, not, no, mm -mm. no, 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 <laughs> and to be honest, I really, I really have to, like, think about this, because it's like, 
like I said, some days I want to sterilize myself, like, fuck it. Get my tubes burnt and tied the fuck up so I don't have to ever worry about it again. But I feel like that would not be fair to my future partner, you know what I'm saying? However, at the end of the day, I have to do it for me, not just for somebody else, especially if, God forbid, this person wants a traditional wife, AKA the bitch being nothing but reduced down to cooking and cleaning. Not saying I'm better than that, cause I mean, I run this household by myself. I have to do the cooking and cleaning. I'm gonna do it if I have to. However, just being reduced to that and expected not to have a life and just serving all the time and popping out, being a baby incubator, I do not want that lifestyle at all. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to work. I'm going to be miserable. I'm probably going to want to put a back to that man's... Let me... I don't want to get violent. I don't want to get in trouble with Facebook. Um, not Facebook, but YouTube. So let me go ahead and clean that up i do not want to entice any violence towards any females or males or any men or women you know what i'm saying um but yeah you know i don't know um i don't know i feel like it wouldn't be fair to sterilize myself right now because you never know 10 years later i may change my mind and want to have another kid before i hit menopause <laughs> excuse me that's only if i know this person is really truly going to be there with me like cooking cleaning changing diapers raising a child making money like what the fuck like i want us to do everything together i don't want to be a traditional mm, no so i'm kind of teeter-tottering on that However, for now, we're just going to place an IUD in me for the next five to ten years. So I at least don't have to worry about it and at least have some time to really think about it. So because I know how I am. Right now, no, I don't want any fucking kids. Just the thought of having to potty train again. Teach the child how to eat properly again. Terrible tools. Like, just thinking about those things. D dirty diapers, like... Just thinking about those things just make me want to gag and puke. And not only that, the delivery was so hard. Me and my baby almost died that day. Like, I don't want to have to go through that again. Just thinking about it, it's like, hell no, no. I don't want any more kids. I don't, I don't, I don't. But I know how I am when I am in love. You know what I'm saying? things that i would say no i don't want to do that okay if they want to do that and i'm in love i'm going to make it happen so i know how i am so yeah i don't know that's like a to be continued i'm so on the fence because i got one side of myself that's telling me like Azrael, if you want to have another child have it for yourself not for that man you know what i'm saying do it for you and if you don't want to do it you don't have to do it because at the end of the day, you're going to have to carry that baby. At the end of the day, you're going to have to risk your life delivering that baby. You know what I'm saying? It's on you. You know? So, I don't know. I'm really teeter-tottering. But for now, we're just going to stick an IUD up in me and just let time give me that answer. Um, as far as no marriage, to be honest... Being that I'm no longer Christian, I don't feel like I need to get married. However, 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 I'm still open to it if I can do it my way. AKA, okay, a lot of people say marriage is nothing but a piece of paper. However, for me, I feel like marriage is you going in front of everyone, including your God, and intertwining those spirits to become one like you're literally becoming one with that spouse in front of god like you make your vows and you're becoming one it's more than just a piece of paper now if i were to get married and have it go my way first of all we're not getting married to yahweh <clears throat> that's not my god you know what i'm saying first of all we have to have the same god and then not only that that fucking death do till death do us part. I don't like that. That never really resonated with me. If we're gonna intertwine spiritually, then obviously in the afterlife we're gonna be together. What the fuck? Like this is forever, not 
till death do us part. This is forever in my book. You know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> just those two points alone, I feel like, you know, I need that in order to feel comfortable enough to get married. And not only that, you know, I need to know, you know, it's not going to be a traditional fucking marriage. I swear, I just the thought of being reduced to nothing but serving, cooking, and cleaning makes me want to gag, makes me want to punch the air. I just, I never wanted it as a kid. Even as a kid, I never dreamed about a wedding. I never dreamed about Prince Charming or none of that shit. I was always Little Miss Independent. I started making my own money at 12. Call me masculine. I don't give a fuck. I've been making my own money. You know what I'm saying? Like, been taking care of myself. Been holding down the fort. You know what I'm saying? Name been on somebody at least since I was 19. Like, I've been paying my bills since I was 18, really, before I even moved out. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm on the fence with marriage. I don't feel like I need to unless that's what me and my man wants. Then I'm more than willing to um, give it a shot. However, I'm not going to lie. I'm scared because these laws are changing. They talking about they about to get rid of no fault divorce. Now, if I feel like there's a chance for divorce, I'm not going to get married. You know what I'm saying? But you just never know. People change. Shit happens. You know what I'm saying? You never know. And unfortunately, half of the people that get married end up in divorce. You know what I'm saying? So the odds are already stacked up against you. But I think, you know, people just be getting married for the wrong fucking reasons. You know, scared of being alone. You know, um, yeah, I'm not going to get into that. Um, so, yeah, um, those are the two that I'm on the fence about. Like, some days it's like, hell no. And then some days it's like, uh, I don't know. And the only reason why I'm open to children, the only reason why is because I keep having dreams. As a matter of fact, the other night I dreamed I had twins. And I was, like, looking at them like, oh, my gosh, are those my twins? Those are my twins. I can't believe I had twins. Ah. Like, I was, like just so ecstatic about it um so you know being that i have dreams of multiple kids like i don't know how many occasions i've had dreams i've had multiple kids. that's the only reason why i'm open-minded to it like for real for real but other than that like when i just think about me me i don't want no more fucking kids i swear I swear, I don't want no motherfucking kids. I feel like I'm going to go sterilize myself and be okay with it. However, you know, if God reveals to me whoever my husband is and it turns out he wants kids, I'm going to feel like shit because I sterilized myself. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to hold off on it and just stick an IUD in me and just, you know, let time tell how that's going to work out. Um... Now, as far as dating goes in the 4B movement, right now, to be honest, I am not in the dating pool. Like Cardi B said, there is piss in the pool. I'm not saying all men ain't shit. There are good men out there. I've met them. I've seen them. You know what I'm saying? Um, they're definitely out there. However, um, I don't know. I'm just not really... I don't think I'm ready for the dating pool. I'm really not. And then not only that, I'm in a place in my life where I'm just not really interested in having multiple partners in my life, no matter if they're sexual or or just romantic um, without the sex. Like, I'm just, I'm not in that place. Now, don't get me wrong. Whenever I'm single and all through my life, I've always had... Um, multiple partners i've always had multiple sex partners not at one time but you know i always had like a little roster i hate to say it. i know i don't care when i'm in a relationship i have no problem with being monogamous and faithful and sitting down with one man but when i'm single bitch i'm single i can do whatever i want and if i want to make a list of niggas that will take care of each need and I'm gonna do that but I feel like I don't know I don't know if it's because I've gotten older or if I've gotten wiser or 
it's just where I'm at in my life. But right now, I'm just not really interested in having multiple partners in my life. And then not only that, the last two years, you know how I told you I had eaters on the roster. Like, shit just got so complicated. And just such a big headache because I would tell the dudes, like, don't, don't collect feelings. Like, don't, don't, don't catch feelings. This just pull up, eat, and deal. You know, just don't catch feelings. And just about every one of them caught feelings. And it just made shit just not fun anymore. <laughs> it made it so, like, uncomfortable. So it's like, uh, I'm kind of, like, burnt out on having multiple sexual uh, partners, no matter if they're just an eater or someone I'm actually, you know, having sex with. So, yeah um there's that um so yeah um so far it's a no on the um marriage children and dating unless i mean don't get me wrong i do have an open heart and an open mind if god shows me and reveals to me hey this is your person this is who you're supposed to be with then of course i'm more than willing to you know date them and maybe marry them and maybe have their i don't know man just thinking about that make my stomach hurt having more kids are you sure i just got my body back oh my god like i don't know but that's only because i'm not in love so you know what i'm saying let me be in love maybe a whole nother fucking story um what else what else is in the 4b no dating no marriage no children Oh, no sex with men, which you already know. I, I'm i currently having sex, so yeah. And truth be told, I can't see my life never being penetrated. I can't see my life never being penetrated by dick ever again. Hell no, that's so unrealistic for me. Simple fact because I don't like dildos. I don't like fingers. I don't like anything foreign inside of me. If I'm in the mood to get penetrated, you better believe I want some real dick. <laughs> I'm just being honest. I don't mean to be so brash, but I'm really being honest. So, yeah, like, don't get me wrong. I can go a long time without penetration. Like I said, I went four years without any of that. Any of that. Four years. And, yeah, I did fine until I wasn't. <laughs> um... But anyways, um, let me try to think and make sure I said everything I wanted to say. I think I said everything I wanted to say. Um, got to know another side of me. I don't. I know I don't really like too much talk about my dating life or whatever. I don't really have one. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, to be continued on that i don't know i might implement those two i might you know five years later and it's like oh hell no i'm not having any more kids because it's like my child he's not grown but he i don't want to give away his age because i don't think it's none of your business i don't know who's watching at the end of the day but you know they're pretty much a teenager now so like the more I think about it, the more I don't want a kid, another one. Like, because it's like, why start over, girl? Why start over? Like, come on. You just got your body back. Like, come on. I don't know. If I do have another kid five to ten years later, it might be through a surrogate and a nanny. I don't know. And I'm not going to let the nanny raise the kid, but they definitely going to be helping because I swear I have no interest in potty training and all that messy shit. Uh, <laughs> Maybe want a gag thinking about it. Um, <laughs> don't get me wrong. I don't regret my child. I love my child. Um, they're the light of my world. They, they, they are what keep me motivated for sure. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> I think I'm going to go ahead and end it right there. I think I said everything I needed to say. Again, I am not a pygmy, nor am I a man hater. Most of my babes are men. As a matter of fact, my viewers on this channel, 97% of y'all are men. <laughs> 
So yeah, don't think I hate you or anything like that. Um, I actually be having a lot of fun with all of my um, buyers, my babes. Um, they're smart and they're cool. So yeah, you don't have to ever worry about me coming on here hating men or anything like that. I'm sorry. I just I can't imagine my life without Dick. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ooh, look at my toes and the socks. They look so good. Oh, yeah, those that only came here to hear my opinion about the 4B, I've already given you my opinion. Now we're just going to get into these socks. <laughs> All right, let's take them off and see what we got. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention these clips. Yeah, I just got out of the shower, decided to shampoo and retwist my locks. And I'm on a bit of a time crunch, so I decided to just come on here and um, <laughs> go ahead and record. Um, to be honest, the next video that you will see after this upload, I will have the same outfit on, to be honest, just no socks. Simple fact because I don't fucking feel like changing my shirt and stuff with all these clips in my head. No, thank you. Ooh, that feels so good. My feet look so moisturized. It could be better, but it looks so good. Ooh, that feels so good. I don't know, is it just me or are my soles looking extra soft today? Mm -mm -mm. All right, well, oh yeah, let me show you my plain Jane nails for Thanksgiving. I know I did not do shit to my nails. <laughs> I really wasn't in the mood, but I will definitely show up and show out for Christmas. So be on the lookout for that. All right, well, it was nice talking to you all. I will catch you on the next one. Bye.